Hey, Chuck here from KK6 USY Ham Radio Adventures. Welcome back. Well, oh, if you're new here, think about, oh, I'm sporting my, uh, my ape shirt today. But if you're new here, think about subscribing and hitting that bell so you get further uh, future videos. And uh, hit that like button too. It helps with, the, uh, with YouTube finding out where my videos should be posted to people to look at. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the build that I did for a, uh, a 12 amp hour battery box with a lithium battery. Different, kind, different battery in this build. I'll show that to you in the video. And uh, it's pretty nice and a pretty reasonable price. So stick with me, on to the intro. Okay, let's get started on this one now. This is my 30 amp hour portable battery box that I built. It uses a amped outdoors, that's amped outdoors, 30 amp hour lithium battery. I think the price on the battery was $189, which is about $80 to $100 cheaper than most other brands, if you check it out. I don't know if this price will still be that good when you see this video, but it was at the time I actually purchased it because I thought it was a misprint. But I've noticed that it's been in there for quite a while since, so it should be it should be good to go. On this box, I've got two binding posts. Bought those from PowerWorks. These are the ones I told you on the last video that I'd show you. I did put a switch on this one. So I got the 12 volt. This came with the four set here, the 12 volt, and I, I think I bought the switch separate. I don't remember for sure. It has two Anderson power poles, which I bought from PowerWorks. I think actually I think the switch and this were both a part of this. I bought this from and from um, PowerWorks. I also bought this, which happened to have a. A voltmeter, a volt gauge in it also. Um, this one has USB-C and USB. Since everything's kind of going that way, I figured I might as well do that also. So if you bought this and this, you don't really need this. But it's a little bigger. It's a little easier to see. But you can get by without having to drill a hole for this. All these holes were inch and eighth holes, just like in the last build. Okay. And then we move down to here, regular USBs. So I've got three of those total. And I've charged uh, my my little laptop and stuff off this before if it needed it. It usually doesn't need it, but if I was gone for a long time, that would be great. And then you got your regular 12 volt port like a cigarette lighter type power point. Um, this box, I bought at Big Five, but you can get it off of Amazon. I don't, it's MHT or something like that. I'll, I'll make sure I put a link, or not a link, but I'll put a picture of it. I can't, I don't know really how to link yet, so I'm still new at this, still learning. But it's an ammo box, basically. And it had a drawer in it, which I don't use um, because it took up too much space for the underneath side. So it's got one latch on this side. And when you open it up, Oh wow, look at what I found. I got a power cord in here for a radio. So I already have already have my 25 amp uh, fuses already there. I don't really need them extra. On my other box, though, they were extra. And what do I have here? Oh yeah, this is a 891. So there's enough room in here to put this also. I don't know if you guys can see that. I wasn't looking at what I was doing there. And I got the microphone hooked to it also. And then also I have a a power cord for like a uh, well I think this powers my uh, my manual tuner that I take I like the manual tuners they just if they work they'll tune just about anything and I just I just kept this I think I think this piece of foam came with something else I got I just keep it in there 
protect to protect the battery. I also just like the last build, the charger. Now, this is a a 2,000 milliamp charger. It takes a long time, and I noticed they don't sell this one anymore. I bought this with the battery, and I think what I'm going to do is uh, they sell a little bigger one. I think I'm going to buy the bigger one. I can also I've got a uh, I'll do a video on this also. I've got a uh, a fold up solar panel, and it just so happened that the controller is good for lithium batteries. So I'll probably hook that up one day to this, and we'll do a test on it. And see if we get any noise. I had noise last time, but I also had a 12 volt refrigerator in the back of my Forerunner that was running, and I, I think that was what was giving me the noise. And these are just extra connectors. I, this is probably what I hooked the uh, solar panel up to, because that's the same, the same type of connector there. That shows up. And this is the 30 amp hour amped outdoors battery, lithium. And what's different in this one, I put a, a circuit breaker instead of fuses. Like I said, my radio already has fuses, so it's kind of redundant. But the nice thing about this, if it's just an intermittent problem, this will reset and you don't have to go scrambling looking for fuses. Okay. Now this also, I have to show you later, but there's a, there's like a little drawer here. And this is all my, all my, uh, all those parts you saw from the top, the binding post there, and you can get to the binding post over here. The nice thing is I ran good heavy wire to anything that's actually going to run, like this is good short, like 10 or 12 gauge wire, um, to the power poles. I'll use the, uh, the 90 degree crimp-ons this time, which makes it a little better inside. Now how this, what this does is this pops open too, and that's where my wiring and stuff is. Most of it's in there. There's your, well, let me let me move it over a little bit. There's your binding post up here. Some tape that's already coming off. But that that gives you a little bit, and you can put some parts up here if you want. And at least in these, oh, let me show you again. Sorry. You can put parts that you need to carry, like extra, you know, like a, something to hook two pieces of coax together. Just small stuff. In this one here, you put it, it'll fall out, but uh, I had to take that out for other reasons, for all this stuff to fit. Like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll put pictures of all the parts that I, that I used on this one, or at least something very similar. Uh, I got some of the parts from this from PowerWorks. I like I like these binding posts because you can actually just plug into the tops of them also instead of having to unscrew. And probably what I'll do on this also is I think I'm going to run a wire like I did on the other one to an Anderson power pole that comes to the side so it doesn't have any stress on it. These, when it bends over, you know, it could have stress. You could set it sideways or you could set the, the top to sideways, but I usually just leave it closed so everything you know, it doesn't get dirt and rain or whatever into it. It's pretty watertight. It's not waterproof, but uh, I don't think anything will really get in there unless it's just a total torrential downpour. So I hope this video was was helpful if anybody wants to build one of these. And like I said in the last one, there's hundreds of, of these kind of builds online. The, the thing is, if you buy all the parts yourself, these boxes can cost $100, $150 already done I don't have that much in this um, and, and nothing to say that there's no, there ain't nothing wrong with buying them but I like to make my make my own stuff save a little money and spend my money into radios or antennas maybe big antennas not not wire antennas I make those I make some of the yaggies also but uh, like I said hopefully this was helpful for you if you my next and I'm not sure what my next video will be I think maybe it might be, um, I've got a hex, a little portable hex beam build that I did. I've got a two meter uh, Yagi that I made for uh, upper sideband, or yeah, upper side, like uh, sideband on two meters. And uh, 
And also, I've, I've got a uh, doublet that I used uh, for my soda work. I, I really like that along with the automatic tuner in the Elecraft KX2. It, it'll tune uh, 80 to 10, which is all that radio covers. So those are all upcoming videos. And if you stayed along long enough to think to hear this part, then I, I appreciate it. All right, thanks for uh, joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. If, uh, if you did, please hit that subscribe button and the like button and hit that bell so you get future videos. This is Chuck, KK6USY from Ham Radio Adventures. Thanks for joining.